we're going to join two granny squares together and we're going to use the slip stitch method to do that. You can also just sew it using mattress stitch but we'll use the crochet hook and the slip stitch method for this video. And we want to make sure we're working on the right side. Uh, there's normally, you know, just to look at this, there's no right or wrong side, but we've woven in the ends to hide them and to secure them. And so the side that you've woven in the ends on, we generally consider the wrong side because every once in a while you might see something. Yeah, not usually. You've done a good job on that. But just to make sure, we're going to uh, have a right side and a wrong side. And in my case, I have got my right side where I can see the top of the stitches. If you look at the edge of these, the top of all these double crochets, it's a V. All the V's. And they tend to point to the front or the back, however you want to call it. I call it the front. And so that's what I consider the front. If I can see those V's, that's the front. So we're going to stitch this together so that front sides are together and then when we open it up it'll be all the, all the front sides will be to get, uh, showing. So we do that really easily. I'm going to use a contrasting color. Use whatever color you want but just for demo purposes we're going to use a contrasting color. And I'm going to attach that yarn by going into the inside of the two chain stitches. There's two chain stitches here and there's two there, but I'm going to use this one closest to the edge and then this one on the other end of the edge and that will be exactly that that length there for it. So I'm going to go in through just to attach to start my first. I'm going to go in through the top of that chain stitch and I will have two loops both legs of the V will be on my hook. And I'm going to have a six inch tail and pull that through. And then I will do, using both of those fibers, I will do a chain stitch just to secure that. And now I can drop the tail because I don't need that anymore. I just use it to secure this color and now I'm going to do the same on this side so that they'll be even. I'm going in through that chain stitch and we're just going to do a slip stitch. So we yarn over, pull it through and pull it through those loops. And now I've got this attached at this side and I can work all the way across. I hope you saw that. I slipped off the camera really quick. But there we have it. Now we're just going to go into the inside leg of each one of these V's now. So I go down into the inside leg of this one and pick up the inside leg of the corresponding stitch of the other granny square and I just do a slip stitch by slipping through. And I just keep doing that all the way across, always making sure I do the inside stitch of each one of those. And it has to line up because both granny squares have the exact same amount of stitches. Every once in a while it'll be a little wonky. You can use your hands to manipulate it to get it through there. And just make sure. There's things we can do if you make a little goof up, but it's easier to just do it correctly the first time. Crochet is very forgiving though. There's things to do to fix little mistakes. But shouldn't be a mistake on this because it's very simple and very even. 
two exact pieces are going to go together. I just go all the way down the line. once in a while I stop here and just to make sure I'm picking up the right stitches and so far so good almost to the end now this is our chain stitch first chain stitch in that Two chain stitch corner so that means it's our last slip stitch for this side and there we have that side joined we always do a little partial chain stitch pulling out our loop and then pull it through and we have this joined and look how neat and tidy that is. If you had used the same color gray, you wouldn't even see it. If you use a contrasting color, it's just a very interesting little stitch along there. And that's how you join your pieces.